Good morning, welcome to Karen's Snippics. Um, if you're new here, my name is Karen. I am a novice level knitter and I am trying something different today. Um, so I normally do a knitting podcast, but today I decided it might be fun to do something a little bit more of like a vlog style. Um, I also decided to learn how to sew. I took one sewing class already and then I don't have my next sewing classes for a few weeks, so I figured I should try to practice in between. Um, so today I think I'm going to take you along vlog style and try to sew my very first <laughs> garment. Um, I figured why try to sew something that is not like part of my main goal and not something that I would want to use all the time. So I decided to just dive into garment uh, sewing. So I have a dress pattern and I have all my supplies, I have sewing machine, everything else that I would need. I'm just waiting on my fabric to get delivered. So it's supposed to get delivered this afternoon, which is why I'm starting this now. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you along. I hope you like this style of video. If you do, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. Um, your feedback is always super helpful. So yeah, I guess we'll just get into it. And um, I hope you like this. If you do also make sure to subscribe and like this video um, it would really be helpful for me to know if I should continue making these videos so yeah so I guess that's it for now and I will check back in once my fabric has arrived okay it's happening so I just got in the fabric for my sewing project so I figured I would just unbox it while, since we're doing this whole thing, right? How fun. So, I got it from Joanne. Um, I had gone in person a couple of weeks ago with my mom to Joanne just to take a look because I don't really know that much about sewing and picking fabrics and all that kind of stuff, and my mom does, so I wanted her guidance through it um so yeah she went with me to go pick it out so this is it one of these i saw in person and i really liked it and i was so glad i found it online and then the other one um just happened to be on sale so i got it they're very similar and i figured my plan is to make a summery springtime appropriate dress so I got like springy, summery fabric. So, are we ready? Ooh, okay, 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 let's see what we got. Oh, it looks cute. Okay, so let's start with this one. This is the first one. Oh, it's very pretty. So it's like a light blue floral on a like beigey tan cotton um they said it was like a quilting cotton so it's a little bit heavier than the other one is but i think it's fine because honestly i was kind of hoping to have these like so i could wear them into the fall also with like a sweater over or something like that um so yeah, this is pretty. This is the one that I got that was on sale also, which I think is a pretty good find. Um, I got three yards of each of these also. So the second one that I got is this. It's so cute. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I love this. I think it looks so pretty. This is the one that I saw in store and I'm so happy with this. It's really pretty. It's really nice, soft cotton, pretty, teeny tiny, like ditzy floral print. Really pretty. I think these are both gonna be such like stunning dresses. So I can't wait. I'm really excited. Oh, and good. They both have a selvage edge also, which is nice. 
so it's a little bit less work for me so okay so that's it so i guess the next steps are going to be i have to watch a video on how to read a commercial sewing pattern um because i didn't we didn't cover that in my sewing class we just learned how to use the machine um so i've got a little bit of a learning curve here and then um i have to cut out the pattern and then do all my pinning and everything cut my fabric and then i think we are good hopefully we'll see so okay let's just see what happens <laughs> hi there um it's been a little while since i actually filmed <laughs> the beginning of this video probably like two months but um i'm back and i'm actually gonna work on this now so yeah i think the last time i talked to you i said i was gonna start prepping my fabric which i did i washed and dried everything um i did iron it but it's been a couple of weeks yeah a couple of weeks since i actually did that so i have to do it again but right now i think i'm gonna cut out my pattern pieces so I'm gonna go do that and I will show you the process. So, yay. So it's the next day, I am decided I'm going to probably finish this dress tonight. Let me hold the camera up at like a normal height. <laughs> um, so right now my fabric is ironed, I cut everything out and now I'm just going to go in with my zigzag pinging shears to uh, cut the edges so that they I don't have to zigzag stitch um all around each of the pieces and then i think after that i'm gonna pin and then we're ready to sew so very exciting stuff i made so during my sewing class a couple like last week was my last sewing class and i made a skirt that just like was not the vibe I was going for um it was like very flouncy and just 
not my style so i um didn't take it too seriously but i'm excited to have this dress because i actually do think i'll wear it i think the style is aligned with what i'd like to wear in the summer so um i'm pretty pretty excited about uh finishing this dress so i'm gonna finish up zigzagging and then i'll start pinning and we're gonna sew a dress <laughs> so i actually already started stitching because i'm bad at this and forgot to film but what i've done so far is i just did a stay stitch all the way around the top of my dress um to keep the curves intact and then i also started pinning for my darts that are at the bust so I'm going to stitch those and then I have to do the body darts on the front and then I think I do those on the back panel and then I start stitching everything together. much better but I was hoping the dart would cover up the spot that I ripped but it does not so I might have to do some mending on that part <laughs> but the dart looks pretty good So my other camera just died, but I just finished pinning the darts for the body. Um, so you can see it's pinned right there. So I'm just going to stitch this up while my camera charges and yeah, and then I guess we'll move on. This camera is also going to die. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to, I need to make sure I charge my camera batteries. <laughs>
All right, so I have just finished sewing the stay stitching around the edges for my back pieces and I did the darts for the back also. So I have to read the directions, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure now I just start stitching the body together and then um, I have to do the um, top part <laughs> with that has the fusible interfacing on it. And then straps and then I'm done. This was like a really, really, really super easy sewing project for my first, um, I guess for my first one that I do on my own. So, so far so good. I feel like very confident <laughs> that I can handle this, honestly. So I'm very, very excited. So these are my two back pieces now that I've done my darts that you can really barely see. There's the, the dart line. And then I did stay stitching, stay stitching all along the back side. So this is what the dart looks like inside. I just pressed it flat and then the seam is there. So the darts were a little bit tricky at first, but I feel like I've got the hang of them now. So we're going to start pinning and stitching, I think. And I'm going to let my camera charge again because it's still not... It's not in good shape. <laughs> just sewed together okay first off let's back up for a second so you just saw me finish um pressing the seams the side seams for the dress um i also just stitched together the like top portion with the fusible interfacing um i just stitched the two pieces together so that's done i'm gonna um I'm going to iron my seam so that they're flat and then I'm going to stitch them to the top of my dress and then I am literally like done. I have the zipper and then the straps after that and then I'm freaking done with this dress. It's so weird. <laughs> it's going so fast but it should be good. So I'm going to go do some ironing.
stitching well almost all done actually I stitched I did the under stitching for the top of my dress and so now I just have to go excuse me and do stitch it like to the back side maybe that's the under stitching <laughs> I don't know what things are called so it's a little it's hard to explain I think the second one is the under stitching um, but I just pressed everything. It's looking really good so far. I hope it fits. <laughs> um, the only thing is I noticed that the part where I ripped the fabric when I was, oh, it's hard to show. When I was doing the dart, the spot here, um, I thought that like the top section with the interfacing would cover it, but it doesn't. So. I'm going to have to stitch it up. Probably we'll just... It's like really not so bad. So I might... I don't know. I might just zigzag stitch it quickly to fix it. <laughs> but I'm a little annoyed that I ripped the fabric on my first try. But other than that, it looks pretty good. So I am pretty darn excited. And... um it's gonna look so good <laughs> so I'm just gonna I think I so the underside of the stitching I have to seam up the back of the dress um, and then I put the zipper in and then straps and then then we're actually gonna be done so so close it's so far I'm trying to finish this tonight like <laughs> before I go to bed and I think it's it's like Okay, it's 9.30, so maybe I won't be able to finish it. I was hoping to finish it by 10, but I think if I can get most of it done, and then if I have just the zipper and the straps to do tomorrow, I'll be pretty satisfied with that. So, so close yet so far. I think we're going on. I think I'm slow moving, so I think this probably took me so far, maybe like, I don't know six or seven hours something like that between today and yesterday with cutting the pattern out and actually sewing so not bad for my first project and i have other fabric to do like a second version so hopefully that one will be a little bit smoother and a little bit faster and i won't rip my fabric but we'll see can't wait to be finished with this one done so I just put the zipper in actually let me show you I used an invisible zipper so the zipper is all sewn in and then this is on the right side it looks really really good I'm so excited and I also tried it on and it fits pretty nicely so what I'm gonna do right now is I just pressed the straps um i'm gonna sew them closed and then i just have to attach them and then i think the last thing that i'm gonna do probably tomorrow is just do the hem um when i tried it on it was like a little bit longer than i probably would have liked 
so I just have to um, probably will try it on and shorten it to like a comfortable length for myself and then I'm literally done but I'm gonna finish it tomorrow but I'm gonna do the straps tonight and then I will actually be done for a little bit morning so it's the next morning now I'm not even taking extra time because I'm so close to finishing this um, so I just have to try the dress on today um, I have to go to Pilates first before I do that so I'm gonna wait a couple of hours until after my class and then I'm gonna try it on I just have to fit the straps and then um, I realized, I tried it on a little bit last night, but I noticed that the bust is like a little bit too loose and then it's a little bit tight on my hips, but that's just because I don't know how to do pattern grading <laughs> to fit between the two sizes, um, but it should be fine. This was really just like a trial run to see if I could successfully make it. so. Um, so I'm going to work on the straps in a little bit. I'm going to also hem the dress. I have like a ruler that's two inches wide. So I'm going to start with a two inch hem, try it on and see how that goes. See if I like the length of it because it's comes all the way down to my knee right now. And I don't love that. I'll, sh I'll try it on and I'll show you guys. So. And then the other thing I realized is that I didn't actually ever talk about the sewing machine that I'm using. Um, I didn't, I don't think I've talked about the sewing machine that I'm using, so I figured I would show that to you. I borrowed this from my mom. <laughs> I have, let's focus for a second. Okay, so I borrowed it from my mom. This is the Singer Tradition uh, 227. This is the box. She just got it a couple of years ago, maybe, at like Joanne. They still sell this one. And um, it has like a self-threading needle. Uh, it has self-threading needle or automatic needle threader rather. Um, 
just you know the regular like all regular functions this thread i got from amazon just in a big pack so i could see i guess just get used to figuring out what i need the wheels and then it has all the you know power button and stuff so it's pretty good machine it took a little bit of like practice for me to figure out like um how it actually works but um it was fine i watched like one or two youtube videos to figure out the bobbin i could not get the bobbin to work properly when i was first starting using it but um i figured it out and it was fine so yeah so that's it i figured i should just show you that and um i didn't show my supplies but i just have like basic stuff Ugh. of course there's like a car alarm as i'm doing this video <laughs> Okay, car alarm is gone. Um, so I haven't showed my supplies, but I just kind of got everything off Amazon. So uh, it's not like I have like anything super interesting or special, unique that I'm using. Um, but I can link everything in the description below if you want to see it. Um, my fabric is old, so I think it's sold out. But um, I think I might be able to link the other fabric that I showed in the beginning of this video too. So I mean, I will try to link everything that I have of it that, you know, I can find. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So it's actually the next day cause I didn't do any sewing yesterday, but so this is the dress before I do pretty much anything else so I have my straps pinned and then I have the hem pinned right now oops and there's some light okay maybe that's not better <laughs> okay we'll just hope that the exposure fixes itself so this is the dress just following the pattern right now um, a couple of adjustments I think the bust maybe like this top part is a little bit loose i think i probably could tighten it a little bit and then i'm a little bit more curvy than i think the pattern like allows for so i feel like in the future i could let the hip area out a little bit to have more space because it feels like it's a little bit tight like around my butt and then the zipper you can't really see how i'm showing you but the zipper like sticks out at the bottom so I think either getting like a shorter zipper or um letting out the hip area a little bit or allowing giving myself a little bit extra seam allowance on the hip would help um I also think this like waist area is a little bit too loose so I probably would need to take in the darts a little bit more um and then of course the hem right now I have it folded or um I have it folded for like two inches for the hem and I feel like I want to take it up like maybe another two inches so it's more like that um, kind of like fingertip length on the hem maybe two and a half inches I'll do so but overall I think the fit is pretty decent considering this is the first piece I've ever made um, I also asked my mom, I don't know where the rip is now, oh, the rip in the fabric is here on the side, so I asked my mom, she said she'll help me patch it, um, but it's pretty good, I have to say, it's not perfect by any means, but I do feel like for a first try, this is a pretty good dress, so I'm pretty happy with it. So what I'm going to do now is just do the straps and then do the hem and then we'll be done the other thing i think i would do in the future is line the full dress instead of just having like the top part with the interfacing um i think depending on the fabric this one is a little bit sheer so i feel like you can see my underwear through it which you know we don't love so i think in the future i would line the entire dress but 
for a first try, this is not bad. I'm gonna have to get some help from my mom though on how to make this fit better. But I think we're in pretty good shape. So I'm in the middle of editing and I realized that I completely forgot to film the end of this video. So um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I am really happy with how the dress turned out. I definitely have a lot of room for improvement, a lot of learning and practicing to do, but I really think for first try this was pretty good one so yeah I have since I finished filming this video I've gotten a lot of fabric in I've gotten some other sewing patterns to try so there will be a lot more sewing going on in my life so if you'd like to see more of these sewing vlog style videos um, please let me know leave a comment down below um, make sure to like this video subscribe um you can follow me on instagram and all the places i will have everything linked down below in the description so yeah that's it so thank you again so much for watching and i will talk to you next time bye